Hi, Rick. Uh, wanted to show you uh, something to turn multiple files uh, into one uh, executable that actually installs the program, like what you use with Chillcat. But this is a completely, this is a Microsoft embedded uh, utility. It's called iExpress. And I'll show you that right now. So I've already created one right here, which I, which I ported out to. That's my um, commercial package. Uh, I gave that to a user. But I, <clears throat> when I build, I have a setup exe and an MSI. So these are the two files that are created normally for me, always. So, and, and I don't need the exe, but, but uh, if, if you already have the uh, Visual C distributor, uh, distributables, so, but the EX, if you, you need to run the setup EXC because that automatically, uh, instead of like what you do, put it in a folder, that automatically searches the files, what it needs, and, and installs what it needs, downloads it from the, from the web, what it needs per, per installation. So that's why you get two files. Anyway, so to hook these two together and not have to send like a zip file to someone or two files, uh, you just do a command prompt. I think you could do it anywhere, but what I do is I just put the command prompt wherever that is, double click, um, and all you do is type I express. That's it. Okay, so now pull this down here. Create new self extraction directive file. Okay, yes. Uh, extract files and run installation command. Yes. Okay, type the type the title. So install gfssp604 <clears throat> uh, do you want to confirm the user wants to install? No, because I, I do that automatically in my installer, so no. Uh, don't display license because I, the installer automatically does. Uh, create a list of files that you want to compress. Okay, your add. Uh, I'll need the MSI and the, and the setup. Oh, sorry. I know you can't see that window. Okay, so I chose the um, the MSI and the setup, and I push open. Okay, there it is. Next. Now, which one to install the program? Setup. Post install command. No, I, you can add if you have a never an, another executable for the for the you know maybe a maybe a batch file or something or an executable that does something else afterwards. Uh, you can do that, and then next. Uh, show how your installation. I just do default because my Windows already know what to do. Uh, and uh, no message because I already say thank you at the end of my installation. Okay, enter the target path and file name. Okay, let's see what I named it before. Uh, so I saw install gfssp604. You know what? So I'll just I'll just delete it. Uh, sure you want to? Yes. Uh, and so let's create. Okay, so let's just do okay install and then don't do the exe just just do the name so install 604 the sed file that's something for this program but it doesn't doesn't matter you don't have to do it install 60 uh, gfsp 604 save hide extracting yeah i don't it doesn't matter you can hide it you don't have to it doesn't matter store files no next and then only restart if needed yes i i don't restart so you can do no but only restart if needed i don't know uh, do not prompt user before starting. No, I don't do that. Okay, save extract and okay. So this is the SED file. That's for this program. That's uh, the self extraction directive. So that's like, I don't know. It, it helps the program, I guess, for the next time you want to do it. So whatever, I save it. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Click next. Okay, you are ready to create your package. Next. Okay, so now it's uh, it's running. Hopefully it won't take too long here. And I'm drinking coffee, so I'm thinking about you. Here's cheer to Rick's. Che cheers to Rick. Ah, coffee. So now we're at 30%. <clears throat> and the setup exe file takes like half a second. I mean, you can't even see it. It's so fast. So this MSI file is, you know, it's the 30 megabyte one, 34 megabytes. So it takes a little while. I don't know if you can see all these um, percentages going, but... Um, I might cut that out, but I might not, whatever. It's just a few seconds. Okay. All right, we're 75 now. Okay, 85 now. Okay, 90. Okay, it's about to be done.
Okay, so it's flushing. I don't know. It flushes the current folder. I have no clue. And and the first time I tried it, it didn't work. It just said can't do something or whatever. Hopefully that's not the case. But then I tried it the next time, didn't do anything different, and it worked. So I don't know. Maybe I had maybe Windows was acting up as it loves to do. Hopefully this will work. Okay, that's it. Create package. Oh, your package has been created. Click finish when you are ready to quit. So blah blah. It tells you a bunch of crap. I don't know. Finish. Boom. Install GFSSP 604exe. That's it. And you just click it. Here I'll. I'll try it. You just double click it. Oh, sorry. The installation package cannot be opened. That's because, um, uh, and I don't know how to get around that, but that's because I already installed it and it, I don't know why, but if it's already installed, that's the message it gives you. As opposed to if you click on setup exe again, it'll give you the, wait a minute, you know, do you want to repair or remove? So I don't know, uh, I don't know what to do, but, but if it's a new installation, that's all you need. And then they can go ahead and, you know, do the control panel, remove files, remove programs, and do that. I tried that. So if you remove the program, you just go back, <clears throat> double click on, the EX, on this exe file, and then it will install no problem. So that's just something that I wanted to show you. And, uh, and I have some, I have, a, I have an install, I, I want to send you this installation because I have the, G, the G95, I have the license manager, I have everything. It's so awesome. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, I, uh, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Uh...